Welcome to the Farmer John's Me YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're going to be cutting soybeans late into the night. When my combine catches on fire, we pretty much halt everything to make sure we don't lose a combine. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. We'll go ahead and get started. Chicken poop. What's it smell like? Disgusting. Colby filming for me because they're doing some disking. Hey, grab the GoPro. Let me see it. Had it on the disc. It fell off and Love YouTube. Uh, I'm here. We're doing some fall tillage. We've been doing it for a week or so now, but I haven't gotten any content for you because I've been dragging my feet. But I decided that I might as well get some content. So we're running a speed disc today. I think that'll work. I need to pull the SD card on this GoPro before I forget. I really hope the sound was on for the whole deal and it wasn't in time lapse. So when Colby got out to find it, I hope that's on camera because that has to be hilarious. Honestly, I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner. Um, the places I hang these GoPros to get footage just never looks the safest. So throw that up there for safekeeping. Ah, there are more beans here. Got Sam, could you? No. Did I leave my head all the way up like that last night? I don't know. So, Colby had one of my GoPros on a speed disc and he hit a tree branch and it fell off and got speed disced and it's all like shattered. So he was ordering one on Amazon. I was like, you really think I'm going to make you film for my YouTube channel and then buy me a new GoPro <laughs> when you break it? I was like, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard of, Colby. You know, you get dog 
I was about ready to come on here and say everything is going perfect and it's so wonderful and we're on large farms and we're knocking out acres but then I got a phone call that uh, the unload auger right up there at the bins is broke down so I gotta go in there and see what's going on the trucks are gonna start hauling but all the way back to our shop which is not the closest two semis are not gonna be able to keep both of us going hauling that far so I'm gonna park my combine here and uh, I'm gonna go into the bins see if I can get the auger fixed I'm not positive I'll be able to because they said it wasn't spinning the uh, tub augers were not spinning out of the gearbox so I know it's not a roll pin coming out of the gearbox. It's that it's that square thing of a jiggy. I I am just drawing a blank on it. What's this square thing of a jiggy is called that, that keep it rotating? Honestly, it's the perfect time to be broken down. My wife and kids just climbed in the combine with me to ride with me. And uh, my two boys were not too happy about having to hop out as soon as they hopped in. They literally rode one round with me, just down and back. And uh, that was it. We gotta, we gotta go work on an auger. All right, that's a gearbox down in there. This one has splines. It's not the square deal. Splines in a bolt. So he said it's not spinning out of the lower gearbox, which is that one right there. Gonna kick it on. Kick on. frantically look for it later and wonder where it's gone. <coughs> it was in line. So, no keyway on this, just a bolt that goes all the way through. There it is, just a bolt that goes all the way through. A simple chain on it. Oh. Oh yeah, here's the broken bolt. Dad, gone. Gary's been greasing this thing. It's good. Yeah. All right. Let's put a gauge on this. He said it's not engaging very well. Okay. Kind of different, kind of an easy fix, honestly. Because um, most of the time, them augers and that and that sprocket and stuff no i'm not this brand i guess we've never broke that on this brand but uh most of the time augers have like a um a square square notch cut out of the gear and out of the shaft and then there's a square rod that you push down inside of it it's called a keyway and then there's a couple allen screws that uh screw into it and they uh hold everything in place keep it tight this one doesn't have that one uh the the gear the gear just slides onto a shaft and then a bolt goes all the way through it pretty simple pretty easy i really like it huge fan of them brent augers not a sponsor or anything but those are by far the mainest augers on like you can buy they're the best best augers money can buy um it's ridiculous how nice those things are we we bought that that brent and a couple Harvest International augers at the exact same time and the Harvest International augers are junk We ended up because those Harvest International augers were just pieces of junk. They 
shake and rattle and they don't sound smooth when they run they're just junk um we had holes worn through them in like two years of running like they're absolutely junk so we we got rid of those and got two more brints uh one of those brints we just got it in it has a hand crank uh winch on it and it's it's way nicer than those other ones um it's got three pulleys on it so even though the winch itself might not be geared lower it's no problem to crank it up like I, I don't struggle at all which we did we did go ahead and order the the hydraulic winch so should never have to ne have to mess with it at all but i don't think we've got the other one in yet we got we got one of the new brints that we ordered in and the other one hasn't come in yet so total we're gonna have three and those things are mean i swear to you you can dump a truck in one of them brints just as fast as we can dump in our pit so that's pretty ridiculous i'm not in a huge hurry because our semis are all the way down at the shop dumping because that auger was broken out. but it's going now Brandon's adding some hydraulic oil because this valve block on the side was leaking this morning. They uh, pulled the valve block off. Dad, Dad, come down here. They pulled it off. I'll show you it. They pulled it off. Maybe it's that valve block right there. Anyways, they pulled it off, uh, put all new row rings on it, put it back in, and it's still leaking. So, <coughs> Dad said he's going to try new O-rings tomorrow just in case they missed one. They'll try it, pull it off again, throw some new ones in, and if that doesn't work, um, he's going to scrap that whole idea and uh, buy a new valve block. <coughs> Jeez, you'll peek. Is that water cannon still in the bed or in the truck? be really upset if it burnt oh my gosh so we good now or uh, yeah <laughs> dude it's it, like it's that it's that 115 engine power uh dude i i have been like letting her eat tonight there's one right there, just hanging out up there. <coughs> Me and Rob were prepared. I threw my water jug on it, the Windex to, bottle. So Tiffy had the boots off. First time all year, and I'm like, And before you say this is why you need to blow off your combine, our, both our combines get blown off every single morning. I feel like this has been enough excitement for one night, but at the same time, I don't want to park it right now because it was just on fire about three minutes ago. Right here? Don't worry, I got you. All right. When we hopped out and seen flames, I didn't know if I should start unhooking the new, the new head or if I should uh, be trying to put the fire out, but... We got the fire out. I figured the fire could get pretty big before we needed to start unhooking the head, so. Stay in here and watch it for a little bit longer. Need to refill the water, water cannons tomorrow. 
These are the fire extinguishers you need. You fill them up with water and then pressurize it. We put out more fires on combines than we can count. I think they have saved our combines countless times, and this is definitely one of them. See, nice thing about the water, water cannons is like they actually get all the, all the dust and stuff on the machine wet. Where your actual fire extinguisher, we used to use them for years, and it seemed like the fire would just start back on a different place in the combine. But you gotta you gotta get everything wet. Wow, that was scary. I I didn't have my phone out while it was still blazing back here, but it, it melted. That's all fire damage right there. That's not. Uh, it melted all that, melted the shield back through here, melted all that, melted a hole in there, and and my fuel tank is right there. That black piece right under there is my fuel tank, so by far the closest I've ever come to losing a combine. Just kind of standing here watching it, seeing if it goes to blazing again. I have no idea what started it. Oh. When we quit tonight, I'm definitely gonna uh, drop my head and park the combine away from everything. We're not gonna quit right now, cause like, I really wanna make sure it's not still on fire. If I had to guess, it'd be the muffler. I don't, I can't figure out what else. What a little on fire there. My fire, my combine's been on fire a couple times, but that's the scaredest I've ever been. Why? Ah, uh, because I started grabbing a hold of it, and then the, like the plastic, like of the shield, I could feel it like was bendy, and that's my fuel tank right there. Yeah. Back oh, what are we doing? I don't know. Gotta say, no, no energy drinks are gonna give me that kind of rush. I just drank one. Oh, you're. I can't. I mean, I, you know, I just drank one, man. So <laughs> I, I missed it. Oh, I'll get back to doping on the go with Rob. Ooh, after I'm back to running, but after that, I, I, no possible way. I'm tired now. Um, yeah, my combines, several, several different combines that I've ran over the years have caught on fire before, but it's never been that bad. Um, I've never had shields melting and stuff like that. Uh, wow. That was scary. Popping the bin off? Oh, yeah. how, how full? How close are we? Really close. Really close? Yeah, like, is Kyle, Kyle gonna have to get it down in there and smooth her all out? Yep. You on the line? Oh, it's getting pretty. We'll go up there. We'll see it. <laughs> he wasn't joking. Ah, did it a bit. Come on! You can do it! Come on! Give us a fucking one today! You want that way to do it right now! I was gonna grab it, but I didn't want to get away from it. I was hoping it wasn't connected to my hand leg. My head up. See, sometimes. When the bin on my combine's really, really full, and I need to make it just a little bit farther, I turn the auger on. So maybe if we fill the auger at the bin, we can fit it. <laughs> yeah. Turn the auger on. <laughs> just for a split second, you only need a splash in it. It'll buy you like another 10 feet. I mean, we're not worried about cleaning the corners out tonight anyway. The bin is full, full.
very full. And I feel bad for whoever has to carry that lid up here tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. I mean, it's really not that funny because we got to figure out how to fit it on the bin tomorrow, but. I can bend that out. <laughs> it's, it's not going to fit on. <laughs> Oh, my leg just bumped it, man, and it went gadonk, gadonk, gadonk. Rob, you just bent it. Are they moving bins tonight? Remember, if you like this video and you want to see more videos just like this one, check out my Harvest 2024 playlist so you never miss anything. Anyways, that's really all I got for today's episode, so I hope you guys like it. We'll see you in the next one.